Tin Knox here, another ship marine, we're on a boat called Shine. This is the first one, first narrow boat we built, solar electric and all of that. Very soon we'll be on a boat called Silly Not To, which is an electric narrow boat, solar electric too. It was built by Rui, who has a company called Bath Canal Craft, and it's owned by John and Julia. We're going to be talking about lots of things. We are going to be talking about Giovanni Bastia Venturi. We are going to be talking about big circles or small circles. We're going to talk about small props. We're going to talk about large moving propellers. And we're going to talk about river flow as well. So we're going to go through all of those things. But first of all, listen to that. It's very quiet our motors running. There you go. That's how good it's going to be. That's so quiet. It's wonderful. It's, yeah. It is the best piece of equipment I bought for the boat, Mr. Mothership. Well, you're very welcome. <laughs> the difference between driving this mm. with a 13-inch prop mm. and a 9-inch pitch mm. and an 18-inch prop with a 13 inch pitch, yeah. it's quite phenomenal. Yes. Let's talk about small propellers versus large propellers. You can get them to produce the same amount of thrust, in other words, use the same amount of power, but in order to do so, the small propeller has to move uh, a lot faster. And as a result of it moving faster, it pushes the water faster too. Imagine these lines here. You see these lines here, there's fewer lines there but the, they are longer than with the large propeller. Now, you're both producing the same amount of thrust there, but one of them is moving slower, and the slower moving one is more graceful through the water, and it's also a lot, lot quieter too. Now, you can also argue that large propellers are more efficient than small propellers, and just by way of an illustration, and perhaps it's something that that might help, that if you imagine uh, the flow of water down a river, this is the flow of water down a river, this is the river bank, what happens is, is that you have the main flow down a river and then you have a contra flow going the other way because it is the friction that, um, that produces this uh, effect. A good kayaker will use, if he's traveling upstream, won't battle the way in the middle, he'll go down the side and get a little bit of a push. Now, the faster the flow, the greater the eddy. And what that means is, is that with a smaller propeller, you're going to get more of these back eddies, which is a negative force, and it is uh, not helping you move forward. We measure propellers in terms of their diameter, but in actual fact, the most important thing about them is their area. Now this is represents a 13 inch propeller and the black one represents an 18 inch propeller and you can see the surface areas of it and then it actually works out that the the black circle the 18 inch propeller is nearly twice the surface area of a 13 inch propeller whilst it's only just a little bit shorter so bear that in mind when you're thinking about the size of propellers. It's not about the diameter, it's about the area. So you live but, in Spain? Yep, we moved to Spain when I was 48 mm -hmm. and retired from the Merchant Navy. And uh, we immediately got bored and uh, <laughs> ran a business. Yeah. And the business, okay. strangely, was uh, importing and installing wood burners. Let's see what, um, what's going on on the, um, on the display here. So you're using, at this moment in time, you're using one kilowatt to go forward and you've got um, th th 380 RPM. Temperature of the motor is 13 degrees and it says here that you've got a range of, of 40 miles. Conversion became necessary uh, because we had another manufacturer's uh, motor on board mm. which was um, too high a rev for too small a propeller. And the result gave us a great deal of cavitation at the speeds that we're arriving at now. 
uh, and the cavitation was seriously noisy um, to impact a conversation. Um, and so in discussion with, with you and with Rui, the decision was made to, to change the motor out for a motor with a bigger torque. Which involved cutting out the skeg and, and, yep. and deepening that. Well, the, the, um, because the propeller had to be larger, the skeg had to be made. But none of this, when you, when we, when you and I originally mm. discussed this, mm. well, OK, we can do that. Yeah. Um, and and yeah. It, it wasn't a problem. No. So yeah. the working relationship between both between yeah. and the working relationship yeah. that you have with, with uh, Rui yeah. um, means that should you have to make an alteration like this, yeah. it's very easily done. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all good. It's I found nothing difficult um, okay. uh, really? at all. I mean, the, the, the workforce, um, uh, Glenn, who, who did the majority yeah. of the hands-on work, extremely good and very, very knowledgeable. He is. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and the fact that you're using a European made engine is 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 yeah. very comfortable rather yes. than one from the Far East. Yeah. Thank goodness for Wikipedia. Here I have Giovanni Battista Venturi. Giovanni Battista and it's so difficult to say that the right way round is actually Italian for John the Baptist. So I'm gonna call in John the Baptist and he discovered the Venturi effect and rather Modestly, he named it after himself. And what that is, is I shall demonstrate, is when you have two surfaces and there is a fast moving flow of, of something, or the surfaces themselves are moving in, a, um, in, a, in, a, in, in water, um, they actually draw together because the, fastest, uh, the faster moving air in this case generates a lower pressure. It's why planes fly too. So did that work? It did. It did. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, my trusted assistant. He's looking very nice today. Um, so Giovanni invented this. And what does that mean for narrowboaters today? Well, John talks about squat. I learned a new name because I didn't know it was called that. But it is the effect that when you are passing your boat over the surface of the canal and there's not an awful lot of water the pressure in in the water reduces and then that means that your boat is sucked down onto the surface of the canal it's the same when you're going past another boat as well where there's one moored up and you're a little bit too close you actually get drawn onto that boat this is what john says the the other thing that i have to say i understand obviously on large ships, seagoing vessels, squat. Mm. And I had no idea that squat was also applicable on such small ships as Do these. Do you mean the venturity? Effect yeah, of, of lowering, yeah. Of, as you, yeah. even at these slow speeds, right. dragging the hull down when oh. you're in shallow waters. Yes, yes, it's, it's huge. And, and also, so you call it squats, do you? Okay. So yeah. it basically, yeah. it draws the, yeah. the, the arse of the boat, yeah. sorry, the but, stern but, of the boat down onto the... But the, you get the same effect when you're passing a boat and they're, yeah. they're and they draw together. together. Yeah. 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 The screen that you've developed that's mm. overlaid on the one that was existing on this yeah. boat which was also good because I didn't need to buy a new screen yes. and there was nowhere to put it. Yes. Um, yeah. It meant that existing technology, existing stuff on the boat has already been used. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that to me is yeah. what I've got there gives me yeah. everything I need. Yeah. Well, I'm one of the few boat builders who's got a software engineer yeah. uh, working for us. Mm. So, I mean, it's, uh, it, it, yeah. You know, that's the way it's got to go and software is so powerful you know it, I mean I, I was in the Merchant Navy I've got a degree in wood science because I like that sort of thing but eventually at the age of 61 I realized that software is very important yeah. Yeah. it's official we are expensive but John does think that we are value for money with the, respect, the, Mr. Knox, yeah. most things that you do are very... <laughs> that's, that's true, yeah, no, fair enough, yeah. And However, I, yeah. I must hasten yeah, to yeah, add yeah, yeah. that you do get yeah. what you pay for. Yeah, okay. And I'll go yeah. back to what I said earlier, yeah. and this, yeah. he's not paying me yeah. for this. Yeah. Um, the service is superb. Thank you very much. I haven't got my wallet on me. No, I know. <laughs> you can leave the cheque as you go.